Good morning. My name is Marjorie Blair. I'm happy to be with you here this morning. I want to give you a little bit of information about my background. We came to Stockbridge in 1972. We came here from Westfield, New Jersey. My husband works uh, in paper and packaging, and he had a job near Albany, New York. And so we decided uh, to ride around and see what area we liked. And we came, happened to just come into Stockbridge, and it was so enchanting and charming that we decided with, that we would like to live in this particular area. And I started to work at the old corner house in February of that year. It was a lot of fun for me because Norman Rockwell and his wife Molly would come into the museum all the time and they would even hang pictures on the wall, which was a lot of fun for the guides. At that time, there were five guides. I was one of the five. I had some wonderful experiences with the Rockwells. I knew them personally. And at one point, Norman and Molly had a cocktail party for the staff in the studio. And uh, the five guides and myself came to that party. And uh, Norman and Molly sat on the stairs of the studio and had conversations with them. He would ride his bicycle past my house every day. And that was a lot of fun, too. He would stop by to say hello. And then my son, Kirk, was asked to pose for him in 1974 as Huckleberry Finn. And he did not want to cast the checks because, of course, Norman Rockwell had signed them. So he did cast the checks. We had prints made. We had them framed professionally, and they hang in his house in New Jersey. <laughs> well, Norman painted almost everybody. He painted so many of the movie stars, uh, Frank Sinatra, uh, and, of course, the presidents. He would go to Washington to do the presidents. But most of the time, the famous people would come here. I was working at the old corner house the day that John Wayne came into Stockbridge to pose for Norman Rockwell for the Cowboy Hall of Fame. Everyone was so flabbergasted he could hardly fit into the front door. He was so big, so tall, and what have you, he had in his cowboy hat, which he promptly gave to one of the guys, and she just got laughing so hard because he put the cowboy hat on her head. He was smoking a cigar when he came into that museum, and of course in a museum you're not allowed to smoke anything, so they gave him an ashtray to put that cigar in. And that summer, all the college kids that were working took all the ashes because they belonged to John Wayne, and the lucky one got the cigar. That was so much fun. He was very friendly. He wore his guns all over Stockbridge, and you'd see him walking everywhere. I also had the privilege back then of taking Arnold Palmer, his wife, and entourage on a tour of the old corner house. That was really nice. And when I see Arnold Palmer today on TV, I reflect back on that lovely memory. I do have an art background. I majored in illustration myself at Syracuse University. And I love to point out the detail because when you first look at the paintings, you don't always see the detail. It comes forth to you after you've studied them for a while. And it's wonderful to be able to share that with the visitors about his work. Uh, the experiences that I have had have been so rewarding to me through the years. We were all aware of Norman Rockwell. Little did I know that I would be meeting him and working at his museum. I had no idea that that was ever going to happen to me. And it's been an absolutely marvelous experience for me. I've cherished it completely.